Hello, my name is Katherine Shortliff. I'm the Engagement Manager at Fruitlands Museum in Harvard, Massachusetts. We are part of the Trustees, which is Massachusetts' largest conservation and preservation organization with 118 properties across the Commonwealth. Uh, so today I am going to be showing you how to do a fun craft that you can do in your own home that then becomes also an activity. <laughs> um, so we're going to be making some simple kites today. Um, and the final product will look something like this. Um, this is a kite that we've made a bunch of times at the museum and different programs, including our kite festival, which is um, typically held every spring, uh, as well as our play date with the sun and wind uh, program for groups. And um, we usually use construction paper, um, I'm getting a little creative today um, based on the materials that I had available in my home. Um, so they're pretty straightforward materials um, and I encourage you if you're missing something um, to get a little creative with what you can find in your house um, and share that cre creativity with us in your comments. would love to see what you come up with. Um, so what you're going to need today, uh, some scotch tape, some scissors, um, some sort of paper. Um, so we usually use construction paper at Fruitlands. I didn't have any construction paper at home, so I am actually recycling from a old Special Places Trustees member magazine. Um, and I just tore a page out from inside that magazine. Um, I chose this because it's a little bit thicker than the other paper I had at home, so it's gonna be a little bit more sturdy. Um, but use whatever you have. Um, you'll also want something to stabilize your kite. So this is a bamboo, bamboo skewer um, that I had in my kitchen. Um, but you could use maybe a straw, um, or if you didn't have anything else that's lightweight and sturdy, um, you can always roll up a piece of paper uh, nice and tight so that it kind of becomes a, a tube um, option. Um, you may want some colored pencils or crayons or markers to decorate your kite. Um, and then the last thing, um, last two things rather, um, some sort of string, twine, embroidery thread, kind of whatever you have around to be the lead on your kite. Um, and then of course your kite needs a tail. Um, so we usually use crepe paper streamers um, when we make this at Fruitlands. Um, I didn't have any of that at home, but I did have lots of tissue paper. So I cut some strips of tissue paper. You're gonna want two of those. All right, so to get started with your craft, um, you're gonna take your sheet of paper and we're gonna start by folding. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half like a hamburger or like a book. Okay. Now this next step can be a little bit tricky um, to get, um, but it's another fold. I like to come put my fingers kind of on the inside of my original fold, take one hand up about an inch, and take the other hand about an inch from the top of my page and then I'm gonna fold a line to get kind of this funky diagonal going. It's a little tricky to see because the paper I'm using is printed, um, but that is the line you're gonna draw. If, you, if it's helpful, you can always um, use a straight surface to actually draw the line before you fold it. Um, so once I've got one side done, I'm going to flip over and bring this side down to match those first two folds. Um, it's going to start to look something like this. So mostly fold it all the way down, but in the center you have this kind of rib. And that's actually how I'm going to open it up next. I'm going to open up my fold and along this center line where it could open, I'm going to just put a couple pieces of tape. Okay. 
and this is the shape of my kite. Um, so now if I had kind of a plain sheet of paper, this would be the time I would want to take my coloring and maybe I'll do a little bit of a design along my edges here. So you can color as much as you'd like, make your whole design. That's all I'm gonna do for now. But um, the bottom side um, can also be fun to color because that's what would be visible from below while the kite is flying. All right, so next up in assembling your kite, you're gonna wanna take that piece of whatever you're using to stabilize the top of your kite. So I'm taking my bamboo skewer and mine is quite a bit too long for the piece of paper that I have, um, but you're gonna be putting it across the wider end, the top of your kite. So I'm gonna just break mine off. Um, to size and now right up here at the top of my kite I'm going to take my tape again and secure that stick to the oops to the top all right so now we're starting to get a little bit more shape to our kite. The next thing I'm going to flip it over and now go to the shorter end. And that's where I'm going to be attaching my tail. So where the stick was at the wide end, I'm going to go to the narrower end. And on the other side, take each piece of my tail and flip it this way attach to the bottom again using my tape. really come in starting to look like a kite. <laughs> Next step, um, if you have a hole punch, definitely use a hole punch for this. I don't have one, so I'm going to just uh, use my scissors. Um, but about two inches back from the front of my kite on my center um, piece here, I am going to just cut a little hole just big enough for my string to fit through. And this is where the string is gonna attach to the kite. So if I'm holding it up here, that gives you kind of an idea of where it is. Um, you don't want it too close to the front because that kind of makes it a little bit top heavy. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna cut my string. So I usually do about a six foot or so tie. Um, but you can kind of play around with whatever type of string length you want to go for. And I'm just going to put that through and tie it off. And now I'm ready to fly. And there's your kite. Um, so this is great because even if it's not a windy day, you can go outside, um, even in the smallest area, um, and just do hold your kite, take a little bit of a run, and it will fly right behind you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this kite, and I'm wishing you some excellent kite flying in the coming days. Um, 
If you enjoyed this craft, you can find um, a lot more online content at thetrustees.org slash at home, um, as well as um, lots of different materials on our YouTube channel. Um, so check that out. The Trustees is a nonprofit organization and we um, rely on support from people like you. So if you're interested in donating today, you can also um, visit thetrustees.org slash join us and learn more about trustees membership as well. Um, so thank you so much. Happy kite flying.